Hello everyone and welcome back to our Jigsaw Puzzle Game series. This is episode 2. In episode 1 we worked on our material which we got here, Puzzle M, and made it work with a coordinate base system and breaking it up into individual parts. We're now going to create the actual Jigsaw piece widget that we're going to be able to place around in our scene. So first thing we need to do is create an instance of our material here. So right click on your material and go up to the top and click create material instance and leave it like that. We're then going to go back to our root folder and make a new widget blueprint. And we call this one Jigsaw Piece. We'll go in there and we're going to get rid of the canvas panel that starts off with there. Now in there we're going to have just an image so just drag your image out and plug it in. I'm going to change the name of this one here to just image and so not just image, we'll just call it then jigsaw piece and then underscore image. And we're going to change the image size of this to 128 by 128. Now if we change the fill screen option here to desired, we can see the actual proportions of it as such. Hit compile, then go to the graph editor. In the graph editor, we're going to drag from the construct and do create dynamic material instance and this node is used so you can create a material that can be changed and altered throughout the game and you choose which material it's going to be so here we're going to choose the uh, material for the puzzle and choose it puzzle m instance that return value coming out of there we're going to drag out and do promote to variable because we need to make changes to it and set variables on it we're going to leave it like that so we'll just uh, promote that to a thing called jigsaw piece and like so. Now we have to set up those various settings we have on it. The first thing we want to do is number of pieces. So my variable list here, we're going to make a new variable for number of pieces and that will be an integer. And we'll set a default value for that to be 16. I'm going to drag from this jigsaw piece uh, set and do set scalar parameter value. Now the name of this would be the name that matches the material. So if I go into my material instance, you should see the names of it over here. Number of pieces, 16. So I want number of pieces spelled exactly the same as that. And the value here is going to be number of pieces. I'm going to drag that out choose get and then plug that into the value and it will convert it for a float for you. That's the first one. The next one is the coordinate. So the coordinate is going to be a vector 2D. So we go in the variables, make a new variable and this will be piece coordinate and that will be of a type vector 2D because we're working in a 2D plane. I'm going to drag that out choose get and then I'm going to split that. Then I'm going to go and drag my jigsaw piece reference out again choose get and then set vector parameter value. Now this works exactly the same as this one we need to put in the name for this and the name for this is puzzle coordinate so let's put that name in there And the value, we're going to drag out and do make. And you can see here, we can drag in the R and G from X and Y here. So X into R, Y into G, and we'll leave B and A alone. We're not using them. And that will do there. Hit compile and save. Now, the last thing we need to change on this is actually which image we're going to actually be using. So what we need to do is make that variable on the material and in here. So we're going to go into our material first of all. And we're going to go into the root material, the main one. And this texture sample, we're going to replace with a texture sample parameter. So if you just right click here, you can search for that texture, and you'll see parameter. And you'll see texture sample parameter 2D. And we're going to name this one uh, Jigsaw Image. And I'm just going to replace that with this. default value for this will be our number grid. 
So just go in here and scroll down and you can choose a default image here to our uh, puzzle test. And hit apply. So now we've got that parameter in there. That means we have a parameter in our instance, which means we can have a change on that parameter here. So I'm going to drag my jigsaw piece out, get, and then set texture parameter value. Now the parameter value for this will be a variable on here. So choose a new variable. And this will be the jigsaw image. And that will be the full image of the thing. In that case, it will be a type of texture 2D. Now drag that out and choose get and plug that into your value there. Hit compile and save. The last thing we need to do is apply this jigsaw piece image that we've been building onto our jigsaw piece image widget piece. So drag your jigsaw piece image widget out and then we go in here and set brush from material. And the material we want to plug in there will be our jigsaw piece. So drag that out, choose get, and then plug that into your material node. And that is it. Hit compile and then save. If we go to the design of view, nothing will show here because this is set to construct. If you want to see it in the design view, drag out pre-construct and plug that in. Hit compile. And then we're going to go to our jigsaw image and change the default value to this to our puzzle test. Hit compile, go to designer view, and there you go, it's now updating for that. And to showcase the numbers working, if we go to the graph and just change the puzzle piece coordinate here to something else, like 2 and 3, I'll get a different value. And that's it. And that'll do for this episode. In the next episode, we'll start working on building, spawning these dynamically into our puzzle piece uh, mode. If you want to watch that part right now, head over to patreon.com forward slash Ryan Ailey. Thank you to all of my patrons and my supporters for their continued support. If you're watching this and you're yet to subscribe, please hit that subscribe button. It really does help me out a massive amount. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye everyone.